This is Twit. Let's go to Rick in Escondido, California. He's next. Hi, Rick. Hi, Leo. How are you doing? I am well. How are you? Better now that you're on the phone. <laughs> have you been suffering, my friend? I have been suffering, and I am getting ping pong back and forth from Verizon to Apple to Verizon to Apple, and no one seems to have the answer to this question. All the right. question is, yes, recently I have updated from a 4S to a 6. All right. And on the and on the 4S, I never. Did, I think I stopped upgrading the operating system at six because people were saying it just right. really got slow when you right. went past that point. Right. So I got the six, and I promise you, I configured it exactly the way I had my 4S set up. I don't even have iCloud. I don't even have iMessaging turned back on. But it seems that when I turn on the LTE, my data usage goes through the roof. Oh, interesting. Now, yeah, now I understand if you download a two meg file on e either 3G or 4G, a two meg file is a two meg file. Right. But some people, I've Googled this, some people are suggesting, well, there was a bug in the software and when you would come home thinking you're on your Wi-Fi, you're really not. Well, that would be an issue. That would be an issue if it didn't, uh, and I've seen that happen with all phones, but I've seen it certainly happen with an iPhone where for whatever reason, maybe your Wi-Fi isn't strong enough, it doesn't switch over to Wi-Fi and continues to use LTE. And the only way to know that, of course, is to look at the top of the phone and see what you're doing. Right. There are other things, though, that you should be aware of. And one of the things Apple gives you is a little tool to see what's using all that data. It's in the, uh, I think they do, it's in the usage. Um, for instance, Facebook changed things dramatically to auto load and play movies. And that is an instant, massive increase in data usage. Data usage is really at the, in the hands of the apps. So it's conceivable that you've got some apps on there that are just going crazy. Yeah, I looked in those, and I'm not seeing, you know, any huge offenders. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering if there's a bug. That, I mean, I know Apple is one of those companies that if there's a bug, they really don't admit it until they have the fix, and then magically things start working better. Right. Um, but one person also told me that, like, YouTube, if you come at YouTube, if it sees you coming at them. Well, it will increase, the, qual it will increase the quality automatically, absolutely. Okay. So, I mean, so and Netflix does that too. As so, it, People notice this when they get to these new high-speed connections. They use more data. Well, yeah, because these uh, programs say, oh, I can show now high def. I'm going to start sucking more data. What you should do is go in your settings, go to the cellular setting, uh, and you can, there's a, there's a switch for every app that's mm -hmm. use cellular data for. And I would just turn everything off, say only use it on Wi-Fi unless you absolutely need it. There are a few things that you might want, like messages. Um, but try disabling cellular data for all these apps and see if that improves okay. it. If there, it, it, It's completely possible that there is a bug, but it should show up in the usage statistics. So I, for instance, I'm seeing on system services, I used 4.4 megabytes of push notifications iTunes accounts use 3.3 megabytes. You can literally go down here and see which Apple system services used how much data. And then you can go through one by one your apps and disable cellular data until you until you get it down to what you want. YouTube would be a good candidate. Uh, you should and you basically what you're saying is only use YouTube when I'm on Wi-Fi. I see YouTube on my phone is only used 40 kilobytes. That's because I, when I, I'm almost always home when I, I don't watch YouTube on the road. Um, well, one, t one test that I did is I just went into cellular connections and I turned off LTE. So it's uh, 3G only and it completely settled down, went back to normal. Well, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't, you know, 3G is slower, but otherwise not different. I don't, it, there could be a bug. You're absolutely right. If Apple has a bug, they don't, often they even fix it without telling you they fixed it. You know, it's, that's, that's kind of their MO, but I don't know of a, of a bug like that. And I certainly am not experiencing that myself. I have an iPhone six. In fact, I'm looking at it. So what I would do is I'd go into the settings. I'd look at, at the cellular section. You can see how much each app has used. The app store, for instance, for me 
has used 139 megabytes of cellular data. That means, obviously, I updated some apps while I was wandering around instead of when I was at home. You'll see if there are any really, you know, big culprits. Anybody who's using more than a few hundred megabytes. If you see thousands of megabytes, that's one of them. <laughs> you know, you don't ever want to see that. And then you can disable it. I mean, I think they give you nice granular controls here. You can just flip a switch in iOS 8 that says, hey, you know, I don't want to use uh, 3G for Meerkat. That's, I don't, you know, it should, own, by the way, 3G, 4G, it calls it cellular data. So it doesn't, it doesn't make the distinction that you're making. Data is data from its point of view. So I don't know of a big problem. But there are good controls in iOS to let you turn that off. And so what I'd suggest is uh, doing a little diagnostics on your part. Uh, I wish, uh, you know, I wish you could look at your cell phone bill, but you can't see that. You can't.